The launch of this revolutionary effort in digital learning in November of 2023 represented a turning point in the educational trajectory of the country, bringing it in line with the needs of the digital age. In order for the digital content to become effective, head of the Curriculum and Materials Development Unit, Camdu, Gianetti George, says the significance of incorporating digital content into the educational framework of St. Lucia will only be felt when teachers and students become better acquainted with the content and how to make the best use of it. The teacher training workshop held recently at the conference room of the University of the West Indies on the Mon focuses mainly on the areas of mathematics, physical education, geography and music piloted in forms 1 to 3 of secondary schools on the island. Ms. George says Camden officers are very excited about incorporating technology in a structured manner. It is expected that this pilot of our phase 1 will run during the second and third term. During the um, implementation of the pilot, the, there will be close monitoring. Support will be provided by the curriculum officers out of CAMDU. And at the end of the pilot period, there will be a post-pilot um, survey. CAMDU has also been engaging kindergarten teachers in the use of Jolly Phonics to enhance learning through a recent training seminar. Education consultant and facilitator of the recent Jolly Phonics training, Joy Sharon, says the multisensory teaching approach is highly engaging for kids and introduces them to 44 letter sounds parallel to their learning of 26 letters in the English alphabet. Uh, the feedback has been absolutely amazing. So the teachers have been using the Jolly Phonic program, however, without the training. And so there are some misconceptions um, and that sense of the, the program directs that you deliver at least a sound a day, so five uh, sounds a day for the program to be effective. However, the teachers have been bringing their prior knowledge alongside the new knowledge that they've picked up themselves and find, found it a bit overwhelming. And so for them to receive the direct instruction and explicit instruction on how to deliver the programme, they're very receptive to it. And that's been lovely to see. While training for this new set of kindergarten teachers were ongoing, the first cohort of Jolly Phonics training conducted in July of 2023 was reflecting on the experience utilizing the method within the classroom. They are sharing with each other the best practices, what did they learn, the successes, what are the challenges and the opportunities for improvement. The Jolly Phonics program is systematic it is um, enjoyable, it is hands-on. So there is an aspect of the program for every student in the class. So we are reaching the needs of all our students, the learning styles of our students, and it's just beautiful. Teachers are expected to employ the new knowledge and skill in their classrooms following the training and will be supervised by trained literacy coaches in order to monitor and evaluate that the approach is being administered to standard. From the Communications Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney, reporting.